Hello, my name is Joshua Brown for the Interview Training Company, howtobecome.com, and in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass your bookkeeper interview. So if you have a bookkeeper interview coming up for any role whatsoever, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I'm gonna help you to stand out and succeed. To achieve that goal, this is what I'll cover. I'll start off by giving you a list of bookkeeper interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll provide you with example high scoring answers to those questions to help you to succeed. Plus, I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your bookkeeper interview before finally telling you how you can download further resources, including all of the answers to help you to prepare. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your bookkeeper interview. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's take a look at that first bookkeeper interview question, which is tell me about yourself. Now, this interview question is one that frequently comes up as the very first interview question that you will have to answer in a job interview. And this is your opportunity to talk about the skills and qualities you have. Don't talk about your home life or your personal life. Instead, focus on your passion for this role and the experience you can bring to it. And finally, describe how you're going to add value to their company in the job role itself. So before I give you a brilliant scripted answer, here is one final tip for you. Make sure you download the job description and focus on telling the hiring manager how your skills are a perfect match to it. It's really, really important that you do that because this job description is your blueprint for answering these interview questions and scoring highly. So for example, if on that job description, they state they're looking for someone who's a team worker or someone who's highly organized, then make sure you use those exact words and phrases throughout your bookkeeper interview answers. So let's take a look at a fantastic example answer to help you. Tell me about yourself. Thank you for inviting me to be interviewed for this position today. I have thoroughly reviewed the job description and I'm certain that I possess the necessary abilities, attributes and experience to excel in this position. First and foremost, I'm someone who puts great importance on client satisfaction. I fully understand and appreciate that the success of your business relies on the quality of service you provide to your customers. In addition, I have exceptional attention to detail and take steps in everything I do to avoid errors. If I do make a mistake, I will take ownership, acknowledge the mistake and try to learn from it to prevent it happening again. I have extensive training in several accounting programs. In my previous employment, I primarily worked with Xero, but I'm also competent with Wave, QuickBooks and Zoho Books. Furthermore, I'm a trustworthy person who will always act professionally while speaking on behalf of your business. Lastly, in addition to working well in a team, I'm also able to work alone without supervision and I always put forth my best effort to meet deadlines and complete my assignments with the highest dedication and professionalism. Wow, what a powerful way to kickstart your interview and get that hiring manager's attention. Let's move on to the next bookkeeper interview question, which is, tell me about time when you failed. Wow, this is a really tough one. So your answer to this interview question must show that you can take ownership from failure, that you learn from it and that you do not blame others. So when answering this tough interview question, make sure that you do give a specific situation of when you have failed, as we've all made mistakes and honesty is an integral value when working as a bookkeeper. So let's take a look at a brilliant example answer to help you. Tell me about a time when you failed. In my previous employment, one particular instance stands out to me where I failed. As a client coordinator, I was a member of an office-based team. I emailed a customer a contract that was not quite ready for distribution due to a genuine oversight on my part. I had misunderstood my supervisor and believed that he had stated that the contract was ready for release, when in fact he had not. I understood it was my responsibility to accept responsibility for the error, offer an apology to both my client and manager and take steps to ensure that the same error never occurred again. I am someone who makes very few errors, but when I do, I always take ownership and react well. I record the email from inside the email server settings before notifying management of my error and apologizing. I informed him of the situation that had occurred, as well as my plans for moving forward to resolve my mistake. I then phoned the client to apologize for the error and offer an explanation as to why the document was sent out before it was ready. My answer pleased the client, who was unconcerned by the situation. Moving forward, to ensure that the error did not happen again, I implemented a double check system. I always tried to grow from my errors, accept full responsibility for them, and then search for solutions to stop the same thing happening again. 
Now don't go anywhere as I still have more interview questions and answers to give you, but when you are ready, click that link in the top right hand corner. It will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download my 21 bookkeeper interview questions and answers for any company to give you the edge in your interview, including the ones we're covering right now. Okay, here's the next question for you. Provide an example of a time when you've had to meet a strict deadline. Now working to tight deadlines is a regular occurrence as a bookkeeper. You can have multiple clients or with monthly deadlines to meet. So you must demonstrate in your answer that you have strong organizational skills, that you can work to deadlines and that you can add value and save time for yourself and your clients by being on time. So here's a great example answer to help you. Provide an example of a time when you've had to meet a strict deadline. Here we go. Having worked as a bookkeeper for many years, I'm familiar with the time pressures that frequently occur within the role. In order to remain organized on top of my responsibilities, I have found that the most effective way to ensure I consistently adhere to all deadlines is to use an organizational application. I am careful to ensure that the system is regularly updated with all assignments that I am tasked with, as well as being checked on a daily basis to ensure all deadlines are met and no tasks go overlooked. I have found this method to be particularly effective when managing a client's monthly profit and loss as well as quarterly VAT returns. I find an electronic organized application to be more effective than a physical planner as I'm able to set the program to send reminder alerts to my mobile phone. In addition to this, I always aim to save time for my clients by obtaining login details for any non-sensitive accounts that they have so I can obtain invoices directly without needing to chase them up. Okay, the next bookkeeper interview question is this. How do you communicate your processes to clients without technical knowledge? Now, having great communication skills is important in a bookkeeping role. Being able to communicate clearly with your clients so that they fully understand their accounts can help save time and money and also help the client understand their finances all that much better. So let's take a look at a great example answer to help you. How do you communicate your processes to clients without technical knowledge? I fully understand and appreciate the importance of a client leaving a meeting feeling comfortable and in control of their bookkeeping needs. Prior to determining which communication style was best for them, I would first determine what their degree of knowledge was. After gauging their familiarity with bookkeeping with a series of questions, I would explain concepts clearly and gradually, checking their comprehension after each step. I would be patient, give them plenty of opportunity to ask questions, offer relatable examples, and make sure that they understood everything before moving on to the next topic. Now, whilst this may be potentially time consuming for the client, the client would always be my principal focus and so it would be essential that they were satisfied. Okay, the next bookkeeping interview question that I recommend you prepare for is, how do you keep your client's financial information private? Now, this is a question I'm seeing coming up a lot more. So it goes without saying that as a bookkeeper, you will be dealing with sensitive information and data. Therefore, you must show that you're aware of the importance of confidentiality and that you have an awareness of data laws such as GDPR and how you will protect client information under your care. So let's take a look at a great example answer to help you. How do you keep your clients financial information private. I fully understand and take very seriously the responsibility of ensuring all client financial information remains confidential. As a professional, not only would I never discuss client information outside of the workplace, but I'm also careful only to share sensitive information with colleagues working directly for the client. In the past, I've been asked directly by a client about the finances of another client I represented, and I made it clear in a polite and professional manner that I could never share such information. I have undertaken advanced training in GDPR and take every step possible to keep client information secure. For instance, I ensure all work devices are locked with robust passcodes that are changed regularly, as well as not working in public places or on unsecured Wi-Fi networks. Now, in preparation for your bookkeeper interview, I also recommend you prepare answers to the following questions. Explain to me how you balance priorities when you have multiple projects on the go. What are your salary expectations in this role as a bookkeeper? Where do you see yourself in five years time? What is your biggest weakness? We pride ourselves on being client centric. Describe a situation when you've went above and beyond for a customer or a client. Do you prefer working as part of a team or are you better working alone? Describe a time when you've dealt with a difficult client. 
What do you hope to get out of this job as a bookkeeper? Describe a situation when you've had to work under pressure. How do you keep yourself up to date with the financial sector? Describe a time when you've managed multiple tasks all at once. How well do you work in a diverse team? Why have you chosen to work for our company over our competitors? So the next thing to do if you'd like to download example answers to these, plus all of the toughest bookkeeper interview questions, is to please make sure you click that button in the top right hand corner of this video right now, head through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download these slides and get access to 21 bookkeeper interview questions and high scoring answers to each question in a PDF guide. You can literally have access and the slides within your inbox within two minutes from now. And it's guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also, more importantly, put your head of the competition. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like this one. And if you have any questions regarding any job interview for any company, please do let me know in the comment section below so I can get back to you with even more tips. And finally, if you'd like to connect with me on LinkedIn, I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your interview. Have a brilliant day.